Hello! In today's video, we're going to talk about lag and lead. Now, lag and lead are both what are known as analytical functions. They're also known as window functions. Analytical functions are probably more of a common name, but window functions are actually more accurate or more correct. But you could say either one, but just whatever you do, don't say windows functions because Windows is an operating system. A window function is something that's part of the uh, SQL specification. Let's just start out really quickly with this uh, salary table. I'm going to order by salary. Yeah, it's just your typical table. You got your employee, they got their salary, the department, and gender. And I've got this ordered by salary from least to greatest. See, a lot of the programmers make a lot of money. This guy makes 134000 He's one of the junior developers. Okay, so anyway, you see that lag and lead are going to do some stuff. Actually, let me just go right to the next window. See, the, see this here, lag salary over order by salary, and I'm going to call it previous. Before I even explain, just watch what it does. Okay, so here's the first person salary. There is no previous salary that was less than that, so there's nothing to put. But when we get to Billy Ronzilli, he's at 19,000. It puts 18,000 for the previous, because that is his previous. And then we get to Mean Joe Green, 23,000. Well, his previous was the 19,000. So basically, this list is kind of like this list. Okay? for the most part, except that it's null up here. And then if we go down to the bottom, normally this amount would never be down here. It, it technically is, but that's just because these two amounts are the same thing. How do two sales people make exactly the same thing? I don't know. Don't you love this name? I made this up, Tony Macaroni. If that was my name, I would be in sales tomorrow because everybody would just love to say my name. But here's what I want to ask you. If you had to write, without using this one line of code, look at how clean that is. One line of code, you write lag, and then the, the field that you're lagging is called salary. But then you have to have this over part of it. And then you have to say order by salary. You could also put something in there called a partition by. We'll get to that later. And then you have to give it a name. If you don't give it a name, things break. It has to have a name. Okay, if you had to write just straight up code to get, you know, without writing this, to get it to do this here, you would have to basically join a table to itself. You'd have to have temp tables, maybe a derived table. You'd have to loop through it. It would take me a half an hour to an hour to write that and test that. And it's making me tired just thinking about it. But the thing is, these analytical queries are so powerful, excuse me, these analytical functions are so powerful because just this one line of code gives you all that, okay? And, you know, lead is pretty much the same thing, except instead of going this way, it would go this way. And we'll, we'll show that in a couple of minutes. But the thing is, so analytical functions, they're powerful because for very little coding, you get a lot of firepower. Now, let's do lead. Lead's kind of the same thing, except in, in reverse. So here, now see, the, the first record does have something because the person that's the first person that makes more than them is this person here. So see, it goes in this direction. And now, this guy down here doesn't have something because there's nobody that makes more than him. And again, I know, I, I should change one of these so that they're not exactly the same. That was a boneheaded mistake on my part. But hey, but I think you kind of get it, you know. There isn't really a, per a person in line before him or after him or whatever, however you want to look at it. By the way, that's not Clint Black, the country music star. That is Vita Blue, the football player. He had to do something after the NFL. Okay, not really. Now in this next one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show lead and lag together with, with the main salary in the middle. See, I can put these anywhere I want. It's just like selecting any other field. They don't have to come at the end. So I'm taking salary. It was up here, see? I had salary mixed in with these guys. So now I'm putting salary here. So when we do this, it's really straight. Whoa, okay. It's really straightforward. So now 
Dina Bobina doesn't have a previous. She doesn't have a lag. And Tony Macaroni doesn't have a lead. Okay? But if you take anybody else... Okay, so Billy Ronzilli makes 19. So before him was 18, and after him is 23. Uh, let's take Irma Galerma. Such a made-up... Or actually, let's take... Uh, wow, well, a lot of these have the same things in them, because in real life, people can make the same amount. Okay, let's take Connie Giuliani. That's a good one. She makes 43000 The next person above her uh, makes 46000 And the next person below her makes 34000 Oh, well, that's a, quite a gap in the company, yeah. Anyway, so Penny McKenney makes less than Connie Giuliani, and Vinny Gagliardi makes more than Connie Giuliani. Okay, great. How does this help us? Or what's the next thing that your boss is going to ask? This is great. I love it, but it's not really practical unless you do it by department. Or something like, you know, that like there you know that no matter what you do for them, say you just came up with this, just you stayed late and did this just they didn't ask for it and you said, "Hey, wouldn't this be cool to have?" And then they, they find the first, within five minutes, they're like, yeah, can you do this by department? Well, let's take a look. Now, the only thing different, let me go back to lag. I'm just going to show it with lag. So we've got lag here, right? Lag salary over, sa lag, did I say salary? Lag salary over order by salary previous. Here, lag salary over order by salary previous, but we've added partition by department. And now you're going to see why we call these a window function. This is really cool. And if you had to write this all out by hand, I'm telling you, like I did a video on this, it was 53 minutes. It wasn't for this, but it was for uh, rank, dense rank. Oh, it was a nightmare. Okay, so now check it out. It's all broken down by department. So let's just take the advertising people, these fine folks. Okay, once again, Dina Bobina. Um, nobody's less than her. But then we get to Jeannie McMeany. So Jeannie McMeany, the person below her makes this. The person who makes 32, Ida O'Rida, the person before her makes 27. And then Jeannie McSweeney makes the same thing as Ida O'Rida, so it puts 32,000 over here. But then check out what happens for cafeteria. See, it starts over. It's like the odometer starts back at zero. So in other words, it, it the, the cafeteria doesn't look at the information for advertising or HR or legal or mailroom. It just starts over. So 23 is the lowest, 28 is the second, remembering that 23 was the first, 31 is the third, remembering 28 was the second, and on and on for however many people are in it. So that's how that works. That's the power of using um, an analytical function such as lag with a partition by. There's all this stuff you can do, and again, look, it's one line of code. It's just, it's technically you're selecting one field, one field, okay, in the select statement. It's just a really sophisticated field. And here's why they call this a window function. When you're partitioning by department, it makes this like a window. And then this, think of this as like another window. Actually, technically, this, this is the window. And this is the window. And this is the window. Hey, why doesn't the rest of the apartment building have windows? I don't know. These people paid more money. Probably corner offices. Yeah, that was funny. Come on. You know what it was. So anyway, um, that's how that works. Um, and I have another video coming up in a few days. And what it's going to be, it's going to be a real world example of how you would use lag and how you would use sum. So anyway, if you like this video, please smash that like button. And if you really like these videos, and if you think I'm hilarious to listen to, I know I do, please consider subscribing. I hope this was helpful. Love to hear from you. Have a great evening. Well, I mean, assuming you're watching this in the evening. Um, if not, feel free to come back and look at it in the evening. Thanks, and have a great whatever time it is. Goodbye.